Hi everyone, this is Paige here from the Page Studio. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a mood board in Squarespace. Now before we get started, I'll show you what I've already collected. So I've already collected my inspiration images. These came off Pinterest. I've also created a little mock logo and two secondary logos, chosen um, a font, and then have some patterns here. And then I also created um, a bunch of color swatches. Um, the way to create color swatches, if you don't have something like, say, Illustrator, is you can go onto Canva very easily, choose something like the social media graphic, and then you're going to draw out just a regular, I mean, you can do whatever shape you want. Um, I will draw out a square. And then you can just go ahead and change the color. You use this color wheel to change it to whatever color you prefer. Create a few of these and then download them onto your desktop. And that's how you can get some color swatches without um, using something like say uh, Adobe Illustrator. So this is what you want to have gathered on your desktop before you actually go to begin creating your mood board. Now the next thing I'm going to do is head to my Squarespace website. So this is a mock website. Um, I will go ahead and create a page in the not linked section. Choose a page. Now I'll go ahead and name my page mood board. And then select a blank page and click start editing. The first thing I want to do on this page at the top of my mood board is to insert my logo. So on the left hand side, I'm going to hover over it. These little insert points will come up. Click an insert point, select the image block. Add an image, find my logo off my desktop, and click apply. So there we go, I have my mock logo. I'm creating a fake brand for uh, Muskoka Lakeside Cabins. Next, I'm going to add in my secondary logos. So because there's two of them, I can either use a gallery block or I can take two image blocks and place them side by side. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm gonna use a gallery block. I have my two logos here. I'm going to click over to design, have it so there is two thumbnails per row. I'm gonna up the padding and click apply. Now to get these to be a little bit smaller, I want my logo to be the most noticeable thing on the page. I'm gonna insert two spacer blocks put the spacer blocks side by side, drop my gallery into the middle, and then I'll enlarge it a little bit right here. So there we have it, I have my logo and then my two secondary logos below that. Now I'm gonna insert another spacer block. I like there to be lots of white space um, happening in everything that I design. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and start working with my fonts. So I'm going to type in heading one, heading two, heading three, body, link, and quote. And then I'm going to set each one of these so that they are <clears throat> so that they are the respective headings. Um, so I'm just going to highlight, go through, select what each is. Link, I have to enter a link, so I'm gonna click on the link button. Content, link it to itself. Quote, select a quote. Okay, now I have each one of my headings and types of font, um, and the next thing I wanna do is actually style them so they look um, the style that I want them all to be. So I'm gonna click save. I'm gonna head back to home and then design, style editor. And then instead of having to search through the style editor to find each one of these headings, you can actually just click on each uh, heading and it will bring up the information for it. Um, so it's sort of the faster way to find what you're looking for. And then I wanna make my heading color um, a little bit fit my brand more. This isn't straight black that I have in my um, logos and secondary logos, so I'm gonna use a little bit um, of a gray. Now I've already gone ahead and I wrote down all of my color codes 
um, here so I can easily just copy them. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is arrange my um, headings to look a bit better from what it does right now. So, Okay, so now I have my logo, secondary logos, the fonts that I like. Um, next thing I'm going to do is add in some buttons and my social icons and then style those. So I'm going to click an insert point again, head down to the button block. I'm okay with all of that. I'm going to click pi and I'll also add in a small button and style them a little bit differently. Medium, small, pi and then my social icons. Perfect, and I think I want them. Circle border. Perfect, now I'm also going to style these buttons here too. So I'm gonna go back to design, into my style editor, I'm going to click on my buttons so I can easily and quickly get to them. I'm going to match them to my brand colors. Now in order to get my actual social icons to show up, you'll notice I haven't linked my accounts here. So in order to link my accounts, I go back to home, down to settings, connected accounts, and I will go ahead and collect, so let's do Pinterest. In order to get your buttons to show up, you have to actually have your accounts linked first. Okay, and now the next thing that I want to do on my inspiration board is add in my inspiration images that I pulled off Pinterest. So I'm going to add another spacer block and then add in a gallery and pull all of my inspiration images. Open. Okay, hey, now I have logo, secondary logo, text, uh, buttons, social icons, inspiration images, and the last thing I'm going to do is add in my color swatches.
Now, if I want to change the order around of my color swatches, I think I'd like my greens beside each other, not a gray in the middle. Um, I just go into the actual um, photos area and then I pull them and drag them around. And the very last thing that I need on my mood board and color palette is my um, pattern and my is it? pattern and texture. So I have a linen texture and there's my pattern. There we go, all finished. Just need to put my quote back in the middle. Click save. Then I will open it up in the top left hand corner. And there I have it. That is a quick and easy mood board and color palette created in um, Squarespace. So no fancy programs necessary for this. To actually keep this and have it all together, um, you can always leave it in your Squarespace website. Um, you just leave it as a page or you can also take a screenshot of it so that you have it for later. In order to take a screenshot though, you do need to log out. So I'm going to go home or just take a full page screenshot, I guess I should say. So it will take me right back to the page I was on before. And then I have a fancy thing here, which will take a full page screenshot. Going to download this, crop it so that I get rid of the header and the footer, and then that is my mood board. If you found this video useful, definitely come check out the full blog post that this video is actually a part of. Um, I'm teaching you how to create a Squarespace website um, and the seven steps to take to prepare for your website design and this making a mood board in Squarespace is just a part of that blog post. In the blog post, you'll also find a full workbook and checklist um, to get live with your Squarespace website. So come visit that. I'll leave the link to the blog post in the description below.